This is chess expert David Oscom. I'm going to go over another famous chess game. This game was played at an opera house in Paris in 1858. The legendary Paul Morphy is playing white and his opponent is Du Carl who is playing black. Paul Morphy's games are always really exciting to watch so let's jump right into this. We see e4, e5 Knight f3, d6, d4. So the Duke is playing the Philidor defense. Right off the bat, we see bishops out to g4. Black's idea is probably just to take this bishop and, when queen takes, grab a pawn on d4. However, it doesn't work out for him in this scenario. Paul Morphy plays excellently. Better yet was e takes d4. Bishop out to g4, d takes e5, bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, d takes e5. So why is now better? Because he can put pressure on f7 and also on b7. White's queen on b3 could be attacking both uh, pawn weaknesses, which is uh, a really good square for white's queen. So by taking on f3 with the bishop, uh, black has helped white develop his pieces. Knight f6 is played. Queen f6 trying to trade off the queens would have been worth a shot. Knight f6, queen b3, queen e7 trying to defend f7. Knight c3, c6. c6 is a great move by black. It allows the queen to protect both f7 and b7, not to mention the c6 pawn is very important at halting white's advancement with his knight. The knight can go to b5 or d5 now. Bishop out to g5, he received b5, that is a mistake, allowing white to get this major attack. Knight takes b5, pawn takes back, bishop takes, check. The knight comes in to defend, and now we have castles, just putting a huge amount of pressure on this knight. The idea would be to take this knight on f6 after queen takes, then this knight on d7 would be free material. So the rook moves out to d8 to protect it, but Paul Morphy goes ahead and takes the knight anyway. After rook d1, we see that black simply does not have enough pieces developed to help defend his king side. He tries queen e6 to trade off the queens and maybe buy some time, but Paul Morphy continues to press on. Knight takes d7, queen check. The only defense is to take the queen, then rook d8, check mate. So a really brilliant game by Paul Morphy here. A lot of tactics and only 17 moves and he already checkmated his opponent. This is a very famous chess game and it illustrates how you can outplay your opponent by simply developing more of your army by getting your pieces out there and uh, using them opening up lines to the enemy king before it has a chance to castle. So thank you for watching.